Let's get it started and ha. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Hi, welcome to Eat, Sleep, and Magic, where we continue the skincare routine. Last week you saw Kathleen um, do her skin routine and this week it's my turn. Like Kathleen, I've experienced a lot of acne as a teenager. Um, I broke out a lot on my forehead, um, all over my nose, mostly like my jawline and my chin. I went to a dermatologist as well, but I was lucky enough that the first product that they prescribed to me, um, it worked and so it kind of has cleared. I've also been really into skincare and, and passionate about um, finding the right products for your face, just so you know you can stay flawless. You know, it's 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 really really girly, but Kathleen and I really really like it. You know, kind of getting yourself pampered. It's, it's just it's awesome. So we love it. If you take something from it, that would be awesome. Um, and yeah, let's get this thing started. Hi guys. So first things first. I boil some hot water because I'm going to steam my face later and then I usually have a cup of tea. Uh, and then I tie my hair up, get all that hair out of my face. Thank you Aria for that beautiful pink headband. And before I do anything else, I kind of brush my teeth first. I can't really have a clean face unless I brush my teeth, it's a really weird thing. And I also use the toothbrush to exfoliate my lips, kind of get all that dryness out of there just so at the end of the night I have nice soft hydrated lips. And then I wash my face. I use the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. Um, I really like this one just because a little bit goes a long way and I kind of scrub and really get in there. Part of my daily routine um, in the morning I just wash my face and then put on this Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15 and then that would be it but because this is my nighttime routine I'm going straight into my exfoliation. I use the Body Blitz Exfoliating Face Wash and I really like this one just because there's those exfoliating beads and I really get in there. Um, I usually exfoliate every other day. I don't do it every day just because uh, those beads can be really harsh on your face if you do it every day and it's very drying. So you do it every other day. Then uh, once a week I get some hot water, put it in a bowl, and I steam my face. Uh, I usually put essential oils in there. I love my essential oils. I have a eucalyptus on the right and then lavender on the left. I put one of the two but today I think I'm going to put both. So once I'm done, my face is red and I'm sweating, but my pores are open. And then, once a week, I um, also use an extractor, I got this at Shoppers Drug Mart, and then it kind of gets rid of all my whiteheads and blackheads on my nose, and then my forehead, and then my chin. I hate it, it really hurts. But my pores are now clean. And now it's time for my favorite step, which is the face mask. I put this on about once or twice a week. I have so many of them, I don't really care because I love them so much. I have everything from sheet masks, and I also have these Shoppers Drug Mart clay masks, and my staple Body Blitz Green Clay Face Mask. Today, I think I'm using the Sephora Pomegranate Mask. It's a sheet mask, so um, it comes out as a sheet with holes in them for your eyes, uh, your nose, and your mouth. Then you kind of just place it on your face, and you kind of smooth it all out until all of that sheet is covering your face. And then you kind of rub the product down on your neck. I look kind of scary, but, you know, the price to pay to look beautiful. While I'm waiting, I kind of put on a lip balm just so my lips can stay hydrated. And then you kind of just wait about 15 minutes. Usually I drink a cup of tea. Today I'm drinking mint, so it's awesome. And then I go ahead, I watch some movies, Avengers, you gotta love it. I love my superheroes, look at them. Or I go on to MLB TV and I watch some old baseball games. Look at my Estrada striking somebody out. Yeah, go back to your dugout, sir. Look at my Estrada, look at him go. Hey, Estrada. Or I go on to YouTube, watch some Broadway.com vlogs, catch up on them. This time I'm watching Fiero Time. Or you know, you do the best thing, dance. Alright, so once it's 
than 15 minutes, you'll see the sheet mask is kind of peeling off your face, so you kind of get rid of it. And any leftover product, you kind of just rub and tap into your face, and you just let it dry. And then I go ahead and use my Paula's Choice BHA Gel with salicylic acid. And what this is, is basically a chemical exfoliator. And before that kind of freaks you out, it's good for you. It kind of goes deep into your pores and cleans that all out. And it's really good for acne and for zits. So you kind of go back and target a few areas. I've had some acne on my skin and you can't really see it because I've been putting BHA and it's working. So once you let it dry, I put on my Body Blitz Argan Oil, it's a face serum and you always put your serum before you put on any of your moisturizers just so your moisturizers and all the vitamins in it will absorb better once you have your serum on. So you kind of tap that into your face. And then I use a My Body Blitz Eye Zone Balm. As you can see, I really love My Body Blitz products. You're never really too young to start eye cream. The skin around your eyes are very, very sensitive and it's very different from the skin on the rest of your face. So it's really important to kind of use an eye cream to give that part of your skin uh, the proper nutrients it needs. And then I use my Body Blitz Replenishing Face Moisturizer. And you just put a little bit. This time I think I went overboard, I put a lot. Trick of the trade, you always apply your thinner creams than your thicker creams, so the absorption is better. I finish it off by more lip balm and then I am done. So I am done. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. We post videos every Monday after church after Jesus. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to stay weird, be yourself, and remember Jesus loves you even when you look like this. Bye guys. See you next week.